thanks for joining in as we paint a drug picture of the alpha-1 adrenergic receptor antagonists. Prazosin, doxazosin, and other drugs that end in the OSIN affix are alpha-1 adrenergic receptor antagonists, or blockers. The selective adrenergic receptor blocking drugs are drugs that have a specific affinity to the alpha-1 adrenergic or epinephrine in the United States receptors. So we are blocking the effect of adrenaline in the organs that have alpha-1 receptors. The main organs that have alpha-1 receptors are the prostate and the peripheral blood vessels. And therefore, these drugs are primarily used in the treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia and in the treatment of hypertension. And they're best placed in people who have both conditions simultaneously. Let's take a look at these drugs a little bit closer. The alpha-1 receptors are located primarily in the smooth muscle receptors of the prostate and in the smooth muscle receptors of the peripheral blood vessels. By saying peripheral blood vessels, we mean the blood vessels to the skin, the extremities, and the peripheral organs, including the GIT. In a fight-or-flight response, adrenaline or epinephrine in the United States binds to the muscles of the blood vessels and constricts them. We do that because we need to run away. This is a fight or flight response. And we're closing off the blood to the periphery so that we save the blood for the big muscles that are going to be used to run away and for the heart, the lungs, and the brain. So, Prazosin, doxazosin, and other OSIN medications dilate the peripheral blood vessels, resulting in not only the desired effect of decreased blood pressure, but it can also result in hypotension, orthostatic hypotension, headaches, nasal congestion, and dizziness. Now, all of that is from the dilation of the blood vessels. It's probably a good idea for you to note at this point that there are some third-generation alpha-1 blocking agents that have a greater affinity for the very, very selective alpha-1A receptor that's on the prostate versus the alpha-1B receptor on the blood vessels. So those agents include alfusosin and tamsulosin. And those wouldn't have as much of an effect on the blood vessels, and therefore they won't have as many of the side effects that are associated with the blood vessels. Also, in a fight-or-flight response, we tighten up the muscles around the urinary system because we need to flee, not pee. Benign prosthetic hyperplasia is a disorder that becomes increasingly common in men as they age. The prostate completely surrounds the urethra in males, and as the men get older, the effects of testosterone oftentimes increase the size of all the cells or nearly all the cells of the prostate, and that makes it a lot more difficult to urinate. If benign prostatic hyperplasia remains untreated, the fluid can actually build up in the structures above the prostate and that can damage not only the urinary bladder, but it can damage and even destroy the kidneys. 
Antagonizing or blocking the alpha-1 receptors does not shrink the prostate, for instance, but it actually leads to a relaxation of the smooth muscles of the prostate and the urinary sphincter, and that decreases the resistance. Meanwhile, this action may actually cause urinary incontinence in people with no urethral obstruction. Prazosin, doxazosin, and other drugs that end in the O-S-I-N affix are not the first-line treatment for hypertension or for benign prostatic hyperplasia. But they are a drug that can be considered for either condition, and especially if the person has both conditions simultaneously. Orthostatic hypotension is a condition in which there is a, a fairly large fall in the blood pressure as a person gets up from a seated or a lying down position. And syncope is a condition where the person actually faints due to a lack of blood that go, going to the brain. And either of those conditions can occur with the prazosin and doxazosin. So it's important to instruct the person taking those medications to get up very, very slowly to get their balance before they start moving. <laughs>